Hello, dearest Libra. Mwah. How are y'all doing today? It is time for your reading for November of 2018, which is this current year so far, until I make the next one for next year. Hope y'all are doing okay. I am still doing um personal readings. How to get a hold of me, my email is in the description below. I also have a Facebook and a Instagram link, I think, in there too. If you want to go check those out and see what I post on that shit, because I find shit from different Facebook pages and websites to put on there. In case you're interested in reading. Because I know some of you like living out fantasies. And fantasies are pretty cool. I'm glad to see there's another sign that knows how to be empathetic towards living a creative role. Right? Right. So I hope you're doing alright, Libra. We're going to get started with your reading. I'm going to do it a little quicker than normal. I've tried a new way to like read this spread, and so far I'm liking it. Definitely helps to conserve my energy a little bit. Especially with my little one on the way. Oop. Did I s no, I didn't. No whammies. Okay. I probably didn't forgot, but that's okay. At least I made sure. Let's begin, Libra. So I'll lay these cards out, the first ones. You've been dealing with, like, a water type for a while. Oh. Beginning theme in all of this. Martyr complex, maybe? Uh... The Hanged Man? Like, you know, let's see, um, my Crawley deck, I like to say that that's like Jesus Christ pose complex, you know, we hung up like a cross for someone else's sins, I guess, but like, I don't know if it applies the same with this deck too. But that's what I, that, that's the vibe I got when I saw it. Like, I know I said it for somebody else, too, but I definitely feel like that, like, someone sacrificed based off of somebody else's fault, almost. No, like, oh, I'll take this L for you, but only because I'm a good person kind of vibe. Which is like, okay, but you're keeping yourself in a space where you can't grow. Like, you know, if you feel like... You should hang from this tree, that's fine. But what's that gonna do for you, really? Other than just. <clears throat> I don't know, like, someone purposely is hanging off the tree when they should be, like, figuring out where they're going. Like, you're not comfortable with it. Mind you, this is a general reading, so this isn't resonating with you or somebody close to you, like, no worries, I might hit the mark the next time. But it's like, you know... Mm. Um... You... You can only blame yourself for so long for something that is not your fault. That's what I feel like I should say looking at this card. You, like, that, it, 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 like, don't keep punishing yourself. Even if you can't fix it. If it plays you that much where you can't fix it, like, maybe you should try to fix it. But, um, don't torture yourself over something that like at this point you have no control over now that's just gonna make it worse either accept it or do something about it but don't linger in this kind of energy because i think it's not going to be helpful for you like i know like this is the epitome of being indecisive right here just letting shit happen and just sitting there and taking it right but over up here okay we got like Someone who wasn't being honest about their feelings and was being really immature about it because someone wasn't going to apologize in order to 
make it almost a clean state with something emotional, something being offered as true or kind. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. Like, this is so dramatic already. Like, what someone wants, they don't want to make a decision, but someone's getting their heart broken or it's already been broken and the three of cups down here and what's going against you someone doesn't want to work something out or work on something like someone's doing mediocre work someone is just ignoring the details and what makes it pretty and just putting it out for production purposes which is like that only work for a certain amount of time until someone comes along and delivers something better and it might take a while like, this could be a delay in the message from the Knight of Pentacles. Could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus type. Maybe you feel as though this person should be, like, delivering a message to you, but they're not. And they're turn doing it toward... They're delivering a message towards the Three of Swords. Potentially, this Page of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces type. Like, this is supposed to be a new beginning or even a heartfelt apology, but it's not happening. Because this is just, like, right next to it, right? And, like... Like, the page doesn't even want to work on anything because of this heartbroken situation. And because there's no apology and someone's being slow with the delivery, like, a decision can't be made. Right? Great. What can we clarify for November? Ooh. Someone's being really insecure with this whole thing, too. The Four of Pentacles reversed. They're hanging on desperately when they shouldn't be. It's like... I mean, you know, if you gotta hang on that tightly, you should probably just go ahead and let it go, because it's, it's hurting you more than anything. Um, then we get the Hierophant, possibly Taurus, involved in this. Um... I think I mentioned Taurus had some air in them, but I can't remember. But yeah, like, look at that. The Hierophant, a ruler, the one who makes the rules. Uh, the person who makes deciding factors. There might be things you don't know, as accordance with the two fingers up here in the air. There might be things you don't know, because he's the gatekeeper, and he knows stuff. And much like a Taurus, he does not like change. He likes tradition. He likes the values he establishes. And he does not like anybody telling him what to do. He's the rule maker, right? So that might be how you're feeling about somebody. Like you want them to be this way, or maybe that's how you're wanting things to be for you. Ooh. But look. Aquarius, Gemini, and you, of course, Libra. Someone's being really indecisive. Like, maybe she's the one who got her heart broken, too, in all this exchanging. And now she's just cutting people's heads off indiscriminately, like, not even caring for the reason why. Just because they're right in front of her. Just because they're breathing her air. Just because someone ate her last sushi roll. And it just finally made her flip. She ended up on an episode of Snapped. Crazy tasty. No enemies. All right, let's clarify Libra. All right, for this first row. Ooh, might deal with the Leo since you know the sun is their sun sign, which is like unfair. How is the sun called a sun sign? It should be just called star sign, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so for this first row, someone can't really come to decisions because of the regrets that they're. Still living with, like, they're still looking over these cups. Like. It's gonna be, like, three people, and then there's these other two back here still waiting for that, for somebody, Libra, either you or a person you're dealing with. Like, they're there as, like, love and support, but they aren't being noticed because someone's still overwhelmed with the emotional sadness of these three cups. It's possibly these three people not existing anymore you know like in one way or another not in like the literal form and maybe they're just not around or something happened right 
And I feel like someone thought that being... Maybe even you, Libra. Maybe somebody thought being emotionally immature would bring them happiness. Or help them bring closer a Leo. I don't know. And this person isn't working on anything because they're afraid of a new offer, I feel like. Like, they're afraid to work on anything that comes close to a new offer. But it's still going to leave them with regrets because it's just like, that's where those cups are. It's just going to be continuing to be regrets. You know, if it was upright, like, these cups would be in the past and you could go move on to the future with the last two cups which are there for you. But, no, they're on the right side. They're facing the future. It's just like, somebody's so busy, like, just staring at these cups <coughs> that they can't look back at the past and realize, oh, there are two right here waiting for me. I can take care of this, you know? Mind, just, mind you, uh, this is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate with you, like, no biggie, right? I might hit you up the next time, you know, but it's like, for those that it does resonate with, it's like, okay, you or someone around you, you just need to like, you know, as usually I'm, I'm one of those people who I'm just like, I don't really like looking back because I just always end up being disappointed, but maybe you should try to look back and see what was and possibly is still potentially there for you. Because you've still got your sun over here, your happiness, and that's part of the past, you know? Maybe this page of cups made you happy, and maybe that's what you're regretting. Who knows? With this next row. Ooh. Huh. Like, there's no new beginning to the future. That's just out. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. This is totally looking back to the, like, this one was all giddy for the future, and this one's just like absorbed in the cups to even think about turning around from the past. Like, there, there's no apology to fix the future. There's no heartfelt beginning to get with this future because this person was too immature about their happiness, and now there's some heartbreak. Someone got their heart broken, possibly third party, by a king of wands. Most likely Leo, because I like saying Leo is the king he has to be. Or it could be a Sagittarius or an Aries. And then the heartbreak situation is leaving someone feeling like, damn, like, like three cups knocked over. That's probably part of the heartbreak, the third party situation right there it's okay to come to some sort of decision with that on how to handle it I think and then we got like the knight of pentacles being slow because the six of pentacles is reversed there's not a lot of balance someone wasn't ready to Hmm. Like, okay, like, it's like, this got delayed because someone found something was not balanced. Whatever this offer was, and now someone's afraid of working on the offer. Right? With this ending theme being, ah! relationship look at that like there's really no reason to sacrifice yourself though there is a possibly a soulmate relationship right here and now someone feels like they gotta murder themselves in some fashion awkward oh but there is going to be some manifestation in all of this or maybe you caused this all to happen. One of the two. <laughs> However you want to look at it, really. But yeah, the magician's right here. So there's definitely going to be some adaptation, some manipulation, some recreation 
when it comes to environments and like things and I feel like you need time taken to recover some four of swords reversed when it comes to this heartbreak with this king of wands and not being able to decide what to do with your feelings and for a moment you're probably going to feel like you don't know what you're going to be doing with yourself with the queen of swords reversed once again she popped up let's see if I can pull one more card on top of her but yeah like she's being really indecisive she doesn't know if she wants to work on something but she also feels like something wasn't fair or balanced yeah when it comes to a love situation another pair something to do with two people so that's yours Libra I wish you the best of luck and you guys take it easy bye bye